In the first three episodes, I explored the twin towns of Keflavik and Reykjavik before heading out towards a beautiful Snæfellsnes peninsula. The weather was amazing so far, and I had even managed to get stuck in ice while going to a glacier. August fifth, two thousand twenty-two. Not looking sunny over there. Today, I think it's going to be mostly cloudy. I saw better pictures, but uh, it should not rain. That is all I asked for. The route has brought me to this road which has no tarmac, and I don't know if this is going to stay for long, but I think it will stay for around 40 kilometers to the next turn, and this is like extremely slippery. I didn't anticipate this. I thought that this will be a tarmac road, but. like they say you never know in iceland i mean it's not a proper f road also but it's not exactly tarmac as well so the speed will be reduced and uh, it is what it is thank god it's not raining otherwise i'm pretty sure that this will be would have been very slippery look at these horses so beautiful this is like a dreamland it's like something out of a postcard you know like a fairy tale like a disney movie look at this and look at that horse which is sleeping over there <laughs> it's like it's so relaxing soothing here and and surprisingly they are not afraid that is amazing and they're so beautiful and these are the young ones well let me not disturb them too much but they're like quite busy eating and look at this view amazing everything is dream like about iceland so far and look at it here it's like as if it just got an off from the salon or something oh shit This is brilliant magnificent amazing and totally like I I feel like I'm riding in Jurassic Park or something <laughs> or I've discovered some new planet Oh my god this is It's giving me goosebumps right now This is crazy man this is crazy I'm glad I came here. I was about to skip this part but this is I mean I can imagine that there are places which are more isolated than here at least I'm looking at a few cars like one car every 3 4 kilometers here but 
even this is this is crazy i don't know what to say you know it's like iceland is a country where you would want to go if uh, you just want to get away from uh, civilization and uh, you can you just want to you know feel that how it must be back in uh, in that era where there were no automobiles no roads nothing and obviously right now you know i'm riding on a road i'm riding a motorcycle but you understand like you feel like you are the only one you have you just landed on a rocket on another planet and you're discovering things and i know that there are a few countries you know which are even more isolated uh, more have more wilderness than this where you can ride a bike because like maybe mongolia but can you see a volcano can you see glaciers right like can you take your bike right up to a glacier in these countries i don't know too many countries like that this the closest country that i have been to which remind this iceland reminds me of is uh, one is new zealand and uh, then is spiti and uh, ladakh of course that is not a country that's a place in india but uh, new zealand will come the closest hello ducks oh to the ducks or no seagulls maybe of course so there are cyclists as well on this road it sure takes a lot of energy to cycle and look at their luggage and this is the old hayabusa pink and white for the first time oh. so another change of landscape here these amazing mountains and rock formations and uh, this time they've got a different flavor kind of flat tops if i can call them that looks amazing huh? look at this beautiful it's getting even more cloudy but look at this view a uh, lot of dark clouds looming over me and i hope it doesn't rain it's going to get really slippery i think it must be around 8 degrees right now and windy road will turn into a gravel road like this and the problem is that uh, it has started kind of raining so 88 kilometers still left
crazy. It's crazy cold and it's zero visibility. But of course, we have to keep riding. Again, gravel roads. God. I think I, I must be crossing some mountain or something like that. And on the other side, it should be okay. But this is like tremendous. These rocks can cut the tire. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Now it's like riding on marbles. I think I'm riding through the clouds. As long as it doesn't rain, it's all right. tunnel is nine kilometers long nine this is how it feels 